Picture this. June 1944, Normandy. The Allied forces have just landed on D-Day, and there's a crucial city they must capture to succeed, Caen. But it's not just any battle. It's a conflict filled with unexpected strategies and pivotal moves. Today, we delve into the five decisive strategies in the battle for Caen that history books often overlook. Let's unravel the tactics that could have rewritten the course of World War II. As the dust settles on the beaches of Normandy, the Allies set their sights on Caen, a strategic gem in Nazi-occupied France. The city, vital for controlling northern France, becomes the stage for an epic showdown. The first strategic move in the battle for Caen is a daring initiative by the British and Canadian forces under the astute leadership of Field Marshal Bernard Montgomery, dubbed Operation Perch. This ambitious plan is set into motion with the primary objective of encircling Caen, a vital hub in the German defense line. The intention is clear, to isolate the city and sever any potential for German reinforcements to bolster their already formidable defences. Montgomery, known for his meticulous planning, deploys his forces in a strategic maneuver, hoping to outflank the Germans. However, the German army, adept in their warfare tactics, and fortified by both seasoned troops and a formidable array of tanks, transform the area surrounding Caen into an impregnable fortress. The Allied forces, expecting a challenging but manageable resistance, are met with a level of German preparedness and fortitude. That turns Operation Perch into a much more complicated and drawn-out engagement than initially anticipated. This first clash sets the tone for the ensuing struggle over Caen, highlighting the resilience and tactical prowess of both sides in what becomes a pivotal confrontation in the Normandy campaign. The second strategic move, orchestrated by the Germans, marks a significant shift in the battle for Caen. Field Marshal Erwin Rommel, a master of defensive warfare, astutely anticipates the Allies' next move. With a blend of tactical foresight and military acumen, he orders the fortification of Caen, turning it into a bastion of German resistance. The city, already of strategic importance, is further reinforced by the deployment of the elite Panzer Lehr Division, renowned for its armoured prowess. These battle-hardened troops, equipped with heavy tanks and supported by a network of defensive positions, transform Caen into a near-impenetrable stronghold. This formidable defence arrangement by Rommel not only challenges the Allies' advance but also sets a high bar for the intensity and complexity of the ensuing combat. The stage is thus set for a gruelling and protracted battle, one that would test the limits of both the attacking and defending forces and shape the course of the campaign in Normandy. The third pivotal moment in the battle for Caen, Operation Epsom, unfolds with high stakes and dramatic turns. Launched on June 26, 1944, this ambitious Allied operation aims to encircle and isolate Caen by outflanking it from the west. British forces, determined and hopeful, push forward with a robust combination of infantry, tanks and artillery support. The initial phase sees some success as they advance through the French countryside, overcoming scattered German defences. However, the operation soon encounters formidable obstacles. The German forces, aware of the strategic importance of Caen, mount a fierce and unyielding resistance. Elite Panzer divisions seasoned in combat counter-attack with lethal precision, halting the British advance. To compound the Allies' challenges, the weather turns treacherous. Heavy rain transforms the battlefield into a quagmire, impeding movement and bogging down vehicles. This combination of determined German defense and inclement weather proves too great a hurdle. Operation Epsom, despite its initial promise and the bravery of the troops, ultimately falls short of its objective to encircle Caen. This outcome not only highlights the resilience of the German forces, but also underscores the unpredictable nature of warfare where even well-planned operations can falter under the right confluence of adverse conditions. Next, we turn to the fourth game-changer, Operation Charnwood. In a bold and decisive move, the Allies commit to an all-out offensive, starting with a massive aerial bombardment that lights up the sky over Caen. The roar of planes and the thunder of bombs become the prelude to a fierce ground assault. As the dust settles, Allied troops with determination in their hearts push forward through the rubble-strewn streets. The battle for Caen intensifies as they face stiff resistance from German defenders who are determined to hold their ground. 
buildings crumble and the air is thick with the smell of gunpowder and the sounds of battle. Despite the heavy resistance, the Allies managed to claw back control of parts of the city, marking a significant, though costly, stride towards victory. The liberation of Khan comes with a hefty price, both in terms of human lives and the destruction of the historic city. Yet this operation marks a critical turning point in the battle, showcasing the unyielding resolve of the Allied force, and setting the stage for the next phase of the Normandy campaign. Finally, the fifth and arguably the most critical move in the battle for Khan unfolds, Operation Goodwood. In this daring venture, the British unleash a colossal armored assault, epitomizing the zenith of military ambition and the high stakes of warfare. This operation marks a significant shift in the battle's momentum. With the sun rising on July 18, 1944, a vast armada of tanks and infantry, supported by relentless aerial bombardments, advances towards the German lines. The ground trembles under the weight of this formidable force, signaling a pivotal moment in the struggle for Caen. Despite facing a tenacious and well-entrenched enemy, the Allies push forward yard by yard through the ruins and rural outskirts of the city. Their progress, though measured and costly, signals a glimmer of victory on the horizon. However, the German forces, deeply rooted in their defensive positions and determined to hold the line, counter with a ferocious defense. This clash of titans on the fields of Normandy becomes a testament to the resilience and strategic acumen of both sides with each move and counter-move playing a crucial role in shaping the outcome of this epic confrontation. Each of these strategic moves in the Battle for Caen unfolds like a chapter in an epic saga, brimming with courage, strategy and sacrifice. They collectively paint a vivid picture of the complexities and the high stakes involved in this crucial engagement. This historic battle, akin to a grand game of chess played on the war-torn fields of Normandy, was marked by meticulous planning, audacious decisions and unforeseen challenges. Every move by the Allied and Axis forces was critical, teetering on the fine edge between triumph and disaster. It was a sequence of actions and reactions where the ingenuity and resolve of military leaders and soldiers alike could sway the outcome of an entire campaign. This narrative is not just about military engagement. It's a profound lesson in the art of war where the blend of tactical genius, unwavering bravery, and the willingness to sacrifice shaped a pivotal moment in world history. From the war-torn streets of Caen to the strategic minds of military leaders, we'll discover how these five moves shaped the outcome of one of World War II's most crucial conflicts. Thank you for joining me on this captivating journey through the battle for Caen, a cornerstone in the tapestry of World War II's history. Our exploration has traversed the labyrinth of strategy, courage and the sheer human spirit that defined this tumultuous period. Remember, the essence of history lies far beyond mere dates and events. It's intricately woven into the fabric of why decisions were made, how battles were fought and who the people were that indelibly marked the course of our past. As we continue to unravel these layers, we not only commemorate their legacies, but also gain invaluable insights into the complexities of human nature and conflict. So keep your curiosity alight and join me as we delve further into the most intriguing and profound moments of history, uncovering stories that have shaped our world in ways unimaginable. Stay tuned for more fascinating historical deep dives that promise to enlighten, engage and inspire. If you have not done so yet, please like, share and subscribe to R to show your support so we can bring you more videos. This is History Replay this day. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in our next episode.